What is up, people? Convicted Marketer Lawrence Aponte here, back at you with another crypto video. All right, in this episode of All in Crypto, I'm going to share with you guys how you can easily create a 10,000 plus NFT collection with no code. Now, you can either do this on the Ethereum blockchain, the Solana blockchain, or the Cardano blockchain. Okay, um, this is going to be a pretty short video. Because it's it's mind-boggling how fast and easy you can do it. Um, if you do end up liking the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as um, I'll be posting more crypto videos here in the future. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. <laughs> Already, so we can go ahead and uh, get into the content. I actually made a little checklist here that we're going to go through really quick, and then I'll show you guys the process. Uh, so here we have the process to create a 10,000 plus generative NFT collection with no coding. This is pretty, pretty cool stuff, guys. Uh, so just a three little step checklist here. Number one, you're going to need the wallet set up that are going to receive the payments. So um, whether that's going to be on um, Solana, Ethereum or Cardano, depends the wallets. Number two is you're going to need to make sure you have the folder and the file set up a specific way and i'll go through the configurations there and number three is you're going to need to download this app called app sus it's free and i'll give you the link down below so for step one um you're going to set up your wallets to receive payment it's pretty straightforward if you're doing it on eth you're going to need metamask if you're going to do it on soul you can use phantom and if you're going to do it on cardano you can use yori Okay, um, once you set it up, you're going to want to keep the address handy for later. Step number two is the folder and file setup. This is where you um, have the setup. So essentially, you're going to have a master folder. Okay, inside of there, are you going to have your layers? Each layer should be a different folder. And then inside of the layer folders, are you going to be your rarities? Each rarity should have a different folder. I'll go through this setup so you can see the visual um, on the next uh, part. And just a note here, all images files should be the same size. Uh, minimum is 1000 by 1000. That tends to be the best one. So if you have the background at 1000 by 1000, you're gonna need each individual um, accessory or attribute as well, um, that same size and last, is download app assist and configure it and i'll actually go through that here and here's the link where you can go and do it so number one i'm not going to set up now um i'm just going to assume that you guys have a wallet because i already have mine set up and we're just going to go skip to number two and i'll show you guys um what i have going on and uh so we are going to go, actually, let's switch my screen here. See this. And I'll go to my desktop so we can see it um, here. And basically, on my desktop, I have this master folder. It's called NFT Art. Inside of the folder, um, you can see I have different. Uh, folders as well. So these are going to be the layers. Okay, we're going to have an animal, we're going to have an avatar, we're going to have a background, and we're going to have a sky. Okay, so we, we have four for this example. Inside of these folders, you're going to have the rarities. So we have ancient, common, epic, and rare. Okay, and then inside of these is the actual folder. And you, we can see here we have a frog. Okay, so I have that set up across all of them. Avatar, you're going to need all four of those folders as well. Background, you're going to need all four of those folders as well. And Sky, you're going to need those all four folders as well. And as you can see that inside, I have other layers 
um, of this. This is the clouds. So now that you have this all set up and make sure that the, the file pictures are all the same, we are going to um, go to the next step, which is apsis. So if you downloaded it, um, it should look like this icon. I'm going to go ahead and, and open that up here. Okay. So when it pops open, this is what you're going to get initially. We're going to need to select that folder where I have it. And I have this on my desktop. It's called NFT art and we'll select it. So when we select that, you're going to see that it shows the layer orders. And then we have the rarity percentages. If the orders are not set up in the correct layers, um, you're going to have to set them up here. So for me, it's going to be background all the way in behind. And then we can do the sky, animal, and then avatar. And then you can see the previews here. You can hit random, and then it will generate different ones according to the images. Okay. Now you can do rarity percentage. Um, like the, the the higher the weight obviously is going to be more this these four needs to equal 100 so if i want rare to only be like five epic to be uh 30 common to be 50 and then an ancient to be 15. okay so now this is the rarities that are going to come up you can see this creates random ones and uh, up here is where you're going to generate how many numbers, uh, how many you want to be generated. We'll just keep this. We'll put this to 10. And then on this side over here, you're going to need to configure these uh, meta metadata. So um, the first thing you want to do is select which blockchain you're going to launch on. This case will do it for Solana. Right here, you're going to um, name the the NFT. So uh, whatever you put it here, um, it's going to be followed by the number. So we can just call this um, OGs, okay? And the description is uh, random art for YouTube, okay? Creator wallet address. Here's where you're going to put the address that you want the payments to go to. We'll just put a random one here, but you're going to put yours where it's supposed to go. Royalty fees. This is for the secondary market. So any fees that um, are going to happen, maybe if your NFTs are sold on OpenSea or Solana or Magic Eden, you can put it here. The standard is 2.5. You can put it wherever you want. We'll put 10%. This collection name. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to name it YouTube example. Okay. And then you're going to put a symbol YouTube X. Okay. And then this here um, is if you already have made pre-made pre-made metadata, then you can upload it there. If not, this is where this um, data is going to come in. So now that we have that all set up, we can come over here and hit generate NFTs. You can see it created them, completed 10 images. We'll click OK. We'll minimize this and it's going to be put into the folder. Um, it creates a new folder called output wherever this one is. And we can open this up. It's going to show you two folders. One is images where we can open and see all of the NFTs that it created. And then the second one is the metadata. Okay, so this is the metadata that's going to show up on OpenSea or Salon Art whenever um, these are uploaded. So if we just take a peek on what it looks like, I'll show you here. And with the notepad. Okay, so now we can see the name OG's one, S1, um, symbol. Description, the wallet address is right there, gets 100%. Image is the one that's showing there. Background, Fuja, sky, sky is the moon, animal is the flamingo, avatar is the smiles. 
collection belongs to YouTube example, family, properties, and all that. So there you go, guys. Um, pretty simple video here. Uh, here's the checklist once again. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Till next time. Peace.